All right. It's a phrase heard in every courtroom in America, but in this courtroom, all rise also means Larry Adams is rising to graduate from the Norfolk Drug Court, breaking a 22-year addiction to heroin. Today is a special day, not only uh, just for me, you know, for my family, uh, and for, you know, for the world to see, you know, that uh, living without drugs, you know, is, is an awesome experience. Adams is the 193rd graduate of the Norfolk Drug Court, which opened in 1998. Led by Chief Circuit Judge Junis Fulton, its purpose is to help people break their substance abuse addictions. May was National Drug Court Month and Norfolk's Drug Court was celebrated and honored with drug courts across the country all month long. Thanks to a cross-country motorcycle relay called the All Rise America National Motorcycle Relay for Recovery, sponsored by the National Association of Drug Court Professionals. We started on Santa Ana, California on May 1st. We're visiting 25 drug courts in 25 days and we're ending here in Norfolk, Virginia. In 2,600 uh, communities, drug courts are, uh, are, are changing lives. And so this trip is really an opportunity to um, not only celebrate those programs, but to let people know that, the, that drug courts are out there. This courtroom gavel made the entire trip symbolizing the life-changing power of drug courts. We just went and picked it up in Newport News and we've brought it here to the Norfolk Circuit Court to present to the uh, chief judge that handles the um, drug courts. Drug courts that Larry Adams is thankful for. Being in drug court and being a graduate is the most excited, you know, uh, feeling that it, anyone can ever have, you know, restoring, you know, your life back, you know, and, and it's just wonderful, you know, to be in an awesome program. But Larry wasn't the only graduate of the most recent Norfolk Drug Court. Connie Lynn Bascom, whom everyone called Bobby, also received her Norfolk Drug Court graduation diploma posthumously last month. She lost her battle with cancer a few months before her graduation date, but she won her fight with substance abuse, leaving this world clean and sober. For Norfolk News Now, I'm John Linka.